And if you don't believe me, look at how the black community is nowadays. Okay? You have men that work who take pride in what they do. You know, they take some honor in it, some pleasure in what they do. They enjoy providing for their families, the ones who have a family. They do enjoy providing for their families. Women who actually work in a household with their man, whether they uh, leave the, leave outside the home to also do a job, because there's people who work full time. There's some women who work part time. There's some women who don't work at all outside the home. Well, see, when you work, that woman usually takes pride in her family. She takes pride in her children. She likes the direction that their family is heading in. Now, let's look at the people who do not work on a regular basis. Well, you know, we got names for people like Pookie. You know, we call them hobosexuals. You know, uh, he's an unproductive dude that we don't really respect in the black community. Well, at least the men of the black community don't have a whole lot of respect for a Pookie who just wants to sit there and be a Pookie. Now, women will pretend that they respect a guy like him, but they really use him because they think they can control him. Now, he will sit there believing that he's getting respect because some woman may let him drive her car around. You know, she'll have sex with him. You know, she'll do certain little things for him. So he's under the perception that he's respected which is wrong for them to try to make men believe they're respected when they're not. But as soon as he does anything that she doesn't want too much, she's going to go off on the dude. Talk to him like he's a child. Show him how he really is not respected at all and how he doesn't really mean anything to her. This happens on a regular basis. Now, why do guys put up with that type of stuff? Well, when you're an unproductive man, you got to live according, according to the way the wind blows. Just is what it is. You have to live according to how the wind blows. So if you do something that the woman thinks is wrong and she starts checking you, there's not much you can do about it that's going to leave a, a, a lasting impact. I mean, even the guys that hit the women, what do they do? They'll call the police on the guy, you know, have them go to court. Now they're probably not going to show up when it's time to for her to go to court so the case will be dropped. But this is just another control mechanism for her. It's all it really is at the end of the day. Now, Pookie can live like this because he's getting, quote unquote, free money. Use of a car with gas in it. Okay. Use of her home so he can sit there and play video games. Have a, uh, a good place to bring in other women while she's at work. All that equals money at the end of the day. He's using her home or he's using her car to get around and mess with other women and things like that. And then be a pookie for them too. Now all of those women are paying some type of cost. Now my thing is. Am I upset with Pookie? No, because he's not using government money. Okay? Living off a woman is not using government money. Even if you say, well, he's living off a woman who's using a government uh, subsidized unit. Okay? Whether it be a home, apartment, whatever the case. Well, he's not actually using, he's not misusing government money. The woman is. He just, he's just living life as he can. You know what I'm saying? He's just blowing with the wind at the end of the day. It's the woman that's using the government income. Now, they wanted to, to add more income to women who happen to live in Atlanta. And, you know, and they say they're going to start with a small number of women and then see how the program works and then spread it out. As black people, should we want programs like this to exist? At some point in time, we got to really ask ourselves, do we really want programs like this to exist? Do we think with all the information we have now, okay, see, it's one thing to argue about what was going on in the 60s and the 70s, and, you know, people couldn't necessarily foresee what was going to happen. That's what people arguments would be. People couldn't foresee that that was going to happen. And I'm not going to say that well, it wasn't plenty of black folk who could not foresee what was going to happen if if we start just giving money to people. 
But see, now that we're in 2022, you know, this is January 2022, we can look back from a historical standpoint. Not long in history. This is, you know, 50, 60 years is a short term when it comes to history. But it's enough time for us to get information about what happens when you start giving a group of people a bunch of free money, as we as we call it, to pay for housing, to pay for food, and to subsidize anything else they got going on in life. Well, that don't seem to be working for us. It don't seem to be working for us at all. Now, a lot of people will say, well, the government gives it to us. Why shouldn't I take it? Well, me personally, I'm not going to take it because I don't think it's going to give me a good result. This is what it is. Okay, it seems like the people who are willing to work for theirs are going to live a more fulfilled lifestyle. Okay, now you may not get everything somebody else gets, but you're going to be more fulfilled at the end of the day. And honestly, what's the point in living if you don't enjoy your life? You know, it's good to be alive. It's a great thing to be alive, but you should also throw some enjoyment in there too. That's how God wants us to live, if you ask me. He wants us to enjoy some life. But with all these government programs that we are getting as black people, and who do I really mean when I say black people? Black women. <laughs> Just as was pointed out by Dr. T. Assange Johnson. Who owes his money going to? It's going to black women. Now, do black women need help? No, they don't. Now, is that me saying, well, black women shouldn't get money for the government so they can have to have to deal with a man? No, I'm not saying that either. Because there's some people who do make an argument that the reason that black women continue to act the fool is because they get so much stuff from the government and they don't have to deal with.